If you and your team are wasting time jumping between tools just to answer the questions, how are we doing? How is our progress? Then that's a problem. SmartSuite solves it by enabling you to pull in your KPIs, your tasks, and your projects into one dashboard that your team can use daily, not just when it's time to report. Let's get into it. Hey there, I'm Alex Knowles from automationhelpers.com and we help companies like yours get set up and automated using the best tools, apps, and integrations. We're going to take a look at how to build a KPI dashboard that isn't just useful for monthly reporting, but enables you to bring in your tasks and keeps your team aligned and accountable. Okay, jumping in, we've got our marketing solution here. Now we're currently tracking the initiatives, the objectives and the tasks, as well as some other databases and tables, but we'll just focus on these three. Now within the objectives or KPIs table, we've got lead generated, landing page, conversion rate, and so on. We're tracking the current value within quarter two, the target we want to reach by the end of the quarter and the total from last quarter, as well as other quarters, but we don't need all of that information front and center as this is already pretty overwhelming. And that's where dashboards come in. We're able to visualize this data so our team can better be aligned and be held accountable. It brings the progress of you and your team front and center. Not only can we create a dashboard that visualizes this data, but we can bring that data front and center into a workspace where the work actually happens. Let's dive into it. So we've got the initiatives and we'll notice that these are linked to particular objectives like here, cost per link reduction via paid ads. We're A-B testing that and that's connected with our cost per lead objective. We also have the tasks, which you guessed it, are linked to specific initiatives as we look through there. So how do we actually create the dashboard? Well, you could create a new table solely for your dashboard, but I like to create a dashboard within the objectives. We have that data living directly there, so we might as well create a dashboard from that data. But the cool thing here is that we can bring in and connect to other solutions, other tables within SmartSuite, making this a really powerful feature. Now, if we take a look at our initiatives, we've got the grid view, which is our table and our data, CPL reduction and so on. But I've created a chart for our leads, conversions and budget. It's a great way to measure our metrics over a monthly period. This benchmark line here is our goal or our conversions target. We've got some other values over here as well, our average conversion rate and our average cost per conversion. The conversions chart is pretty similar and we've got the budget chart to help us track our money. Now, while we created those charts within our initiatives table, we don't currently have any charts within our objectives table and where we are creating this dashboard. So if we jump into the dashboard and create a new widget, searching for chart, we'll select our initiatives table. We'll notice that we can't select the charts we created. They do exist. We've seen them. If we jump back over, they do exist there, but we can't pull that data in. So let's recreate those charts within our objectives by selecting create new view charts and we'll make this our leads and we're going to bring in the values for Q1 total, Q2 target and Q2 current. That was easy enough, but this is a chart specifically for our leads. So let's apply a filter. We'll just quickly check leads generated. We might as well copy that, jump into the leads chart and we're going to filter that title is leads generated. Now we can see that for Q1, we had a total of 980. Our target for this quarter is 1200 and we're currently sitting at 350. So we've got a ways to go. We can better visualize that by changing the colors of each bar. Q2 will be red and Q2 stay green. Easy. From there, we can add a chart total so that we can actually better visualize that total amount as well as our current and as well as our target. We can always add new. So I'll quickly create some other charts that we can include to the dashboard. Then we'll look at adding these charts to our dashboard as well as other progress metrics. Sweet, so I've just quickly created some example charts for leads, conversions, and email open rate. Let's add these charts via the chart widget. Just selecting that, we'll then select this table, which we know is objectives and the report will bring in leads. We'll add that widget and we can see it there. We can make this smaller, larger. And the great thing is we have the option to place it wherever we please. Let's quickly add those other charts. 
So on the dashboard, we've added our leads, our conversions, and our email open rate. We can, of course, change the positioning of each of those, but let's look at adding some other metrics. So we'll add a widget. We'll search for progress. We'll select this. And what we're going to do, we will see we have the option to choose any of the sources within this solution. What we're going to do is we're going to grab the Q1 current, which is going to bring us all of our records total. So we'll filter it again by leads generated. And then we can see we've got 980 and our goal, well, that was 1200. We can have the green to signify that we're on track or a red to signify that it needs attention. And we'll see that appear here. Let's bring this down. And straight away, we can see that metric being pulled in. From there, we can then bring in our tasks by adding record details. We'll first select a record selector, select a record selector, and we're going to actually use our tasks table. Then we're going to add this widget here and we'll bring this down. So currently we've selected execute CPL and I'm just gonna make this smaller so it fits into the side here. And then we're going to add a record details widget, record selector, add widget. And we will want to select the fields. So we'll say the campaign name, the description, I think that'll be blank, the campaign name, the linked initiative, due date, of course, objective KPI, and so on and so forth. Then you'll be able to have the details of your tasks front and center. If you take a quick peep at our marketing hub, you can see how we're using both progress and metrics to build an interactive dashboard that keeps our targets and goals front and center while we get our work done. If you're using SmartSuite already, then the next step is to level up your work management through dashboards. If you need help setting this up or other parts of your business, don't hesitate to reach out to us at automationhelpers.com. Our team of experts are offering a free 30-minute consultation, so book yours today.